If you're struggling to get stronger in your lips, stop adding weight to the bar. Instead, use pause reps. The most common pauses are held for about three seconds, but you can do a quick pause or a longer one, depending on what you're... You can use pause reps with squat. So what you want to do is pause in the hole, it's called, or the sticking part of a squat, which is at the very bottom and get comfy down there. Pause reps and push-ups are also done at the bottom where most people struggle to get back up. So you're going to aim for a three second pause at the very bottom of that push-up. Coming into hip thrusts, you want to aim to pause in your lockout position, really squeezing the glutes. Pause reps, you hang out in the sticking spot of an exercise. So hanging out here is really what develops your strength because you need to support yourself. You have to get comfy in that position. Your mobility increases because you're normally loading up in that position. It is a great way to boost your strength without adding any weight to the bar. Coming into a bench press, the most common, you are pausing right above the chest. You are hovering, keeping those elbows slightly tucked before you press up with power, okay? So make sure you are in control. With the deadlift, there's actually a lot of places you can pause. You can pause on that first pull right around the knees. You can pause at the very top to kind of work grip strength and your lockout position, or you can pause on the center component as you're coming down again, roughly around the knees. All of them work. Pull-ups are the same way. The top pause is the most common, but you can also pause on the mid, the 90 degree elbow flexion, um, depending on what you are working.